One of the real issues that I'm seeing is with the uh, cost of living crisis that, that's affecting business is the ongoing costs of fuel and supplies and materials, uh, which has seen, uh, in some cases, doubled in the last 12 months, uh, which then has a knock-on effect for the employer to then pay a wage rise in relation to the cost of, the cost of living and inflation. So yeah. uh, what we have received as uh, service level agreements and grants hasn't increased in line with the cost of living for about 10 years now. Um, and as Naomi says, we're paying to the public and we can't afford to give competitive salaries. Products and services and goods are more expensive. So what, whatever you've projected on your five year plan post yeah. last year is, is, is gone. You know, the insurance is now up 30%. I mentioned earlier one business has seen a 100% increase in materials. Um, you know, over the last 12 months, he's at the point now where he's considering um, closing. And I think this will be an ongoing issue with products and services that um, can't can't keep up with the constant rising prices. We all have to pull together and open our remits a little bit to try and minimise the impact of this extraordinary situation. And actually that's something that I think we really need to pay attention to um, and speak about what further support is there for our third sector, for our voluntary communities who are taking on a lot of work of supporting our residents. But how do we support them to make sure they can fully function and support local residents? And I think there's something in there that we really need to pick out um, and make sure that we can provide more holistic support to them so they can continue to be the pillars in their communities.